Hey yo. Okay, happy hour console gamer. Back here again with another freaking video, okay? Uh guess what day it is? Yeah, it's uh Mother's Day. I'll drink that. <sighs> of course I'll drink to any fucking thing. Uh okay, so you have a whole bunch of Nintendo games, you know. Uh, what are some that are, I don't know, mothers related and all that crap? Well, maybe you got these from mom or maybe they're like good mom ideas. I don't know. Uh, okay, let's start out with number 10. Yeah, we'll do top 10 list of gifts that maybe your mother got. Yeah, I don't know. Or <laughs> or maybe ones you got for your mother. Uh, I don't know. We'll just go by the game here. Okay, say your mom gets you a nice gift. Hey, she tells you, hey, I got you a cool superhero game where these five kids are fighting evil and they get to transform into some super powerful being in spandex. Wouldn't you like that game? <laughs> now if it's gotten fucking planet <laughs> and the planeteers, yes. We got some that's slightly educational. <laughs> um, remember that stupid show where Whoopi Goldberg and a whole bunch of other people tell you, hey, save the earth and shit, then nobody gave a crap? Well, yeah, here's a game about it. And it's definitely one of the worst for original Nintendo, but it's made by Mindscape, so you already know that. <laughs> uh, um, Mountain's Heart was in the right place, but yeah, pretty crappy game. But, you know, that's what moms do, you know? <laughs> They're trying to steer you in the right direction. Hey, do you want, like, a new Super Mario Bros. game? Well, I got the game for you. Hey, since you failed your last final exam, <laughs> here is Mario's Time Machine. So you're going to learn history whether you like it or not. And you're definitely not going to like it if you're going to play this. <laughs> hey, uh, so this... Time travel an idiot uh, has to go through and find different items in museums and get to the right fucking place, but man, is a game ever fucking born. Oh man, it has a little bit of Mario Brothers, like the original, splashing with Super Mario World, with a whole bunch of slow ass educational shit, and there's no penalty whatsoever, so the game is pretty much wasting your fucking time, man. Yeah, it's pretty much not a game at all. Just a big old born scavenger hunt. Yay! Okay. But again, you know, it's your mom. You can't, you know, uh, blame her too much. She's trying to do the right thing. Like trying to meet, eat your fucking vegetables. Like, yeah, I heard the reason why they made Princess Tomato in the Saudi D Kingdom is because, yeah, the parents of the children want them to eat their own vegetables and shit because vegetables are fucking good for you. Yeah, how do I fucking say so healthy? Fucking healthy? You mean vegetables, yeah. And drink your beer too, kids. Yeah. <laughs> uh, is that good advice? I don't know. Uh, anyways, uh, number eight here. Yeah, you have a whole bunch of vegetables. Uh, cucumber looks kind of suggestive. But, you know, I think... <laughs> it's something that your mom would definitely get you for a gift game because it looks like no offensive fun. There is some offensive content in the game, believe it or not. Like, these vegetables may get eaten and shit, but uh, they don't know that. Your moms don't know that. But again, <laughs> it's from your mom, so that's okay. Uh, we won't go too hard on, on mothers because it's Mother's Day. Be nice to them and crap. Uh, and maybe here's another game that your mom might give you. Uh, uh, Chris Everts and Ivan Lent in Toppler Tennis. Who are these guys? You know, I thought I was fucking unfamous, but who are these tennis players? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'm probably more famous than they are. <laughs> uh, I do have 2,000 subs. I bet Chris Everts doesn't have uh, 2,000 subs. <laughs> uh, well, anywho. <laughs> ah, yeah. Maybe this is something that your mom would think is cool. <laughs> Imagine get this for Christmas. Oh, no, this isn't Educating Free. No, this isn't Double Dragon 2. Let's open it up for Christmas and boom, you get this. Uh, well, 
you know, whatever. <laughs> Just give it to mom, let her play it. Is it any good? I don't know. I never play that shit. <laughs> okay, and if your mom thinks you're pretty stupid, uh, I don't know why my mom will think I'm pretty stupid, but <laughs> hey, they can easily give you their educational game. Donkey Kong Jr. Math. <laughs> uh, yeah, believe it or not, <laughs> I actually fucking like this game. I am fucking drunk, so. Down a few beers, get a friend over, or get your mom over, and have some two-player competition. You know, you could either be the pink Donkey Kong Jr. or the normal Donkey Kong Jr. and go at it, go at it at math competition. It's actually one of the better educational games for the system. And one of the few <laughs> educational games for the system. <laughs> uh, so if your mom gave you a gift like that, keep it. Because that game is fucking expensive now. So, thanks mom. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, uh, Paperboy 2. Now why am I mentioning that? Because that game is you know pretty good. Pretty, pretty good arcade action. Why would your mom give it to you? Well, she's pretty much telling you, you better get a fucking job. And being a paper boy? Meh. Okay, that's like a first job when you're like, like a bright little kid. Or, that's something I could probably get right now. I could throw papers at people's houses and, yeah, break their fucking windows and hey, kill some demons and death and all that. That would be fun. <laughs> uh, the problem is, you don't make a lot of money in the game. Yeah, and I picked Paper Boy too because you can be a Paper Boy and Paper Girl. Uh, although it's still kind of sensitive that they call Paper Boy, but, well, whatever. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, pinball. You know, just simple pinball, you know? That's something that your mom could easily get into, you know? Because it's, uh, you know... Everybody knows whether you're fucking doing a pinball. It's not like this complicated shit that you have to do with, I don't know, something like Mule or Overlord or Desert Commander where you have to control all the right infantry at just the right time. No! The ball goes near your paddles, you hit it. <laughs> it's simple as that. And this pinball stuff has been around for centuries and, you know, your mom's a bit older than you, so, yeah, she might appreciate the finer games that have been around for a while. And pinball is good, simple, fun arcade action. Yeah. yeah, just don't call your mom old, you know? I don't think she'll like that. <laughs> okay, and yeah, your mom is also probably, you know, very smart, or at least smarter than you. Yeah, I definitely think my mom is smarter than me. <laughs> I don't know why. But yeah, uh, Tetris. Because a good mind-numbing action where you're messing up the pieces and trying to get points. Who doesn't fucking love that, you know? And ladies, you know, they love that sort of shit too because the game is a bit more cerebral and all that. Cerebral. <laughs> Wait, I said it right the first time. I don't know why I corrected myself there, but eh, we'll just go with it. <coughs> okay. Alright, number two here. Uh, uh, Alright. <laughs> Yeah, the beer, was, the beer is really starting to fed me now. Okay, uh... <coughs> oh, <laughs> you think it's fake beer? Uh, nope. Oh. Alright, back on topic. Uh, yeah. Tecmo World Wrestling. I don't know. I just figured I'd put this one on the list because you got some oily wrestlers there that are kind of muscular. Hey, your mom might like that. <laughs> uh... Okay, yeah. number one, you know, we gotta go for the traditional mother game in Earthbound. Because in Japan land, or Japan land, I better not be too offensive here. Because, <laughs> yeah, Japan land. Uh, Japan, yeah, just Japan. Uh, yeah, this game, yeah, is originally called Mother, and yeah, because, I don't know, the whole storyline is that you're trying to fight this uh, evil alien called Mother or something and stop them and all that sort of stuff. And they just call it Earthbound here in North America and it was less successful. <laughs> we, I think we only got one game in the series, sadly. Well, in Japan, yeah, they got three. Um, yeah, it's pretty popular over there. Lucas and Ness, they're pretty big names and 
here we got Super Smash Bros. <laughs> Brawl starring Lucas and everything, but we did get a game starring him in North America, so figure that one out. Oh yeah, and I also got this one autographed here by the late great Jew Wario, and yeah, I'll definitely drink to that. Yeah, I missed you, bro. Uh, yeah, so that was 10 games for Mother's Day and all that sort of stuff. Okay. Uh, so, happy Mother's Day to all your mothers out there. Hell, you know, it's not easy being a mother, especially with my shitty ass diapers. Uh, yeah, don't ask why, but I'm wearing them right now, but it's a lot easier to go and wash them. Okay. Oh wait, yeah, and also as a baby and shit, uh, uh, and, I don't know, oh, just, happy Mother's Day because they do an important job and shit, and, you know, drink to all the mothers that, you know, we lost and stuff, and all that, you know, kind of depressing, but, eh, I don't know, just something to think about, and just be happy on this day, I guess. And drink some more beers. If you can't get your mom the right game, get her the right beer. Is that the right thing to go out? All right, I'll go out on that. Okay. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, Mama. You're driving away my last rain. How does Phil Collins sing that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's a cool song, though. All I remember, though, is the Mama part. Mama, ooh, didn't mean to make you cry. Oh, wait, that's the wrong song again. Yeah, whatever. Bye.